Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls, right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me are Silka and Paul of PTZ Optics. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining me. So um, can you tell me where does PTZ Optics stand right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Of course. So we are a U.S.-based manufacturer of PTZ cameras and accessories, and we're known for being extremely reliable and easy to use. We're also the greatest value player in the PTZ market, so if you don't know about us already, you should. <laughs> Love that. And so what trends as far as your technology are you seeing right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Yeah, PTZ cameras have played a really big role in emerging markets because this is somewhat of a new technology. And ever since 2020 and 2021, everyone started live streaming and broadcasting. So while PTZ Optics is not necessarily used at the highest end television companies, we are very well known in some very major verticals like education, government, healthcare, and small businesses and medium-sized businesses that are sometimes just getting their first cameras. And one of the reasons why PTZ cameras are so great is because you can just get one or two of them and control them with just one single joystick. So we've really simplified what it means to be a camera operator and how easy it can be for people who are just getting into live streaming and video production to put together a system that they can really understand and use themselves. I love that. Did you have something you wanted to add to that? Yeah, I mean, another thing that we've been seeing as a really big trend is auto tracking. As Paul mentioned, everybody wants to have the most dynamic and engaging presentations, and having auto tracking in your um, production system really allows you to reach the viewers a little bit better. And so there are a lot of different auto tracking technologies out in the market. Some you'll see are software based where you have to download it and then you have to worry if it works with Mac or if it doesn't. But the thing that's nice about our, so our auto tracking is that it's actually right in the camera. So as, you, as soon as you get it home, you can plug it in, it's going to work right away. And we actually also have a presenter lock technology in our auto tracking software, which means that it's using facial recognition to lock into one specific person. So if you have multiple people maybe on stage with you, or if there's some movement and you're worried about somebody possibly walking in front of the camera, you don't have to worry about that with our software. Yeah, I saw some of that. That was so neat. Um, what, else, what else are you highlighting here at IBC currently? Uh, 4K is becoming pretty important, and we're seeing a lot of customers want to buy 4K. Maybe they're not ready for complete 4K transformation of everything they're doing, but they want to future-proof themselves. The value of video has increased so much. Is it because of YouTube? Is it because of Facebook? Is it because of TikTok? It's all of these things and more, really. Video is helping people transform their businesses. It's becoming key for marketing. And that value is why people are saying, you know what, I could get a 1080p, but it's worth so much to me to have a catalog and be future-proof because I'm putting in so much effort, to, like we're doing right now, to make these videos to connect with our customers. Why not do it in 4K, um, whether we're using it today or for the next five years, all of our cameras include a five-year warranty. So we're helping customers put in uh, future-proof solutions that will take them into the next decade. Who do you think your target customer is right now for these products? Yeah, well, what I'd like to do is talk about some of the really great emerging markets that have come up because we really are selling to almost every major market vertical, but a couple of them that are very exciting. One is government. And a lot of courtrooms now are wanting to live stream, not just because less people are wanting to do in person and things of that nature, but we all have to accommodate uh, those folks who want to watch online. And it's easier, you know, some people need to be able to be informed, so courtrooms are really big for us. Education is really big with the auto tracking that Silco was talking about. We have very much simplified these systems for lecture capture. So almost every higher education organization is recording the videos and so that the students can watch them when they get home and re-record them. So there's a huge transformation in all of education around the world with online video. And people are maybe saying, you know, I don't want to pay $100,000 to go to Harvard. I'll pay $2,000 to go to, to take the MIT online course. And that's creating a massive demand for online educational purposes across almost every major vertical. And then the one that I'm very excited about, it's not in the broadcast industry, so one of the trends here is some of our resellers that, and uh, distributors that Silco works with, they're working in broadcast, but then they're realizing industrial manufacturing, people who are making cars, people who are making things are saying, I'd like to have a PTZ camera to zoom into the parts that I'm using, and then they use computer vision. So you can see we're going all the way from broadcast to industrial manufacturing and everything in between. Yeah, that's super interesting. So uh, I guess saying that, what do you think is in the future for PT PTZ Optics? 
Well, I just mentioned industrial manufacturing, and the unlock there is actually computer vision. So one of the things that these cameras can do is they can pan, tilt, and they can zoom. But with the ability to have AI and computer vision, they can now see. They can now interpret what they're doing and automate things, so that's very exciting. The cloud is very exciting. Um, in healthcare, I'll give you one example and then I'll stop talking. But in healthcare, you know, we work with a lot of hospitals and telehealth is becoming very important. And that uses the cloud because a lot of patient rooms need specialists that aren't in that area, especially in rural hospitals all around the world. They need access to better healthcare. And doctors can be brought in from around the world, the exact specialists that's needed for certain situations and telehealth allows a PTZ camera, what that allows is the doctor can from their location remotely control the pan, tilt, and zoom. So they can zoom in, take a look at the patient, maybe it's on their arm, maybe, you know, there's all different types of situations. And it's transforming healthcare, it's making us more healthy, it's providing people longer lifespans. And so we're doing a lot to change the world with PTZ cameras. I love that. Did you have anything you wanted to add? Yeah, I mean, speaking of box cameras, we actually just, uh, speaking of healthcare, we actually just launched a new box camera that is the Studio Pro. That's really exciting too, because it also takes us to a new level, but something that we've never done before because we're calling this our all-in-one studio. So it's great for dentist office, it's great for telehealth, so that you have something that's really easy to use. You can actually just plug it in via USB if you don't want to get super technical and still have a really great high quality stream of everything that you want to show. Wow, I love that and what a fun booth. Thank you all for the demos yeah. too. Yeah, thank, you. Um, thank you. I look forward to speaking to you at the next show. Thanks so much.